All right, so we're at Jacarani Animal Hospital and we're gonna be taking radiographs today of Quasi. He's already in the computer. Now, although we don't see exotics here, we have an awesome x-ray machine. You can see it has a setting for lizard. We're not gonna sedate him or stretch him out. I'm literally just gonna put him here, adjust it, and then hopefully he stays. Uh, and we just, I'm just interested to see how his spine looks and his organs. So after we get this, we'll be able to um, send it to his exotic bed. All right, here we go. Wow. <laughs> oh my God, that's really cool. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking our new baby Quasimodo here to Cooper City Animal Hospital to get a checkup on him. What we're really hoping to find out today is just have the vet look at him, check him out, get an idea of his quality of life, how he's doing, how much pain he might be in, and what steps we might be able to take to mitigate that. He's like the hunchback of Notre Dame, huh? That's his name, Quasimodo. Is that his yeah. name? Oh, too funny. I swear I didn't know that. You guys working on this shed here? Trying yeah, to. we actually got a lot off yesterday. Okay. We've just been soaking him. Yeah, so. I mean, his color looks good. He's cute. He, he is. is cute. Can you get around? Yeah. yeah. He, he hops around. Okay, so obviously quality of life is hard to determine on a, a lizard. Um, but the big things are, does he perform normal everyday activities without any difficulty? Does he eat? Does mm -hmm. he poop? Does he eat everything he should? Is his poop normal? Um, as long as he's functional, he can move, he can feed himself, I think he's fine. He doesn't have any rubs or lesions that I can see you know, that indicate that he's moving in a way that's hurting himself or, you know, causing any issues. Can I see under his, yeah, he does, thanks. I mean, as long as he can move around and function and, you know, if, if he were to develop sores or lesions from moving improperly, you know, um, that would be a concern. But as long as, you know, he's, he's doing everything normal and he doesn't have, I want to say physical issues, obviously it's a physical issue, but he doesn't have any um, Im impediments to yeah, his functionality. Yeah, that's a perfect way to put it. As long as he doesn't have anything like that, I really don't, I don't see a reason why he can't be a happy captive iguana. I wouldn't set him free. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's going to do too well on his own, but with people that love him and care for him, I think that he'll be fantastic. Awesome. Did they ever take any other films when he was born or no? No, mm -hmm. I think this is his first time at the vet. I mean, his other bones look good. Yeah, it's just the tail just and the his, spine. Yeah. Well, maybe don't throw him in a pool because I don't know how well he'll swim. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's a... But uh, now, if because of the curvature of the spine, he develops some type of paralysis. That's what you're thinking. When that day comes, okay. you know, then, you know, there's a lot of people that, oh, he's paralyzed, but he can still eat. I, at that point, I, I question how fair it is to him. As long as he's able to move his legs, get around, I think it's fine. But I mean, like I said, I, I don't think he's gonna have longevity on mm -hmm. his side. I can't really see organs. But yeah, it was hard to get him straight now. <laughs> yeah, it's a little, it's a little crazy. So, do you think he's in any type of pain? I I don't think he's in any type of physical pain. Um, scoliosis. I mean, people get scoliosis. Obviously, his is a little greater. Um, if he were to run a marathon, he'd probably be sore, uh, form to function. But as far as his everyday life, he's lived this long in this condition, I think that there's, you know, 
it, it's not a painful condition, more so it's, it's just a hindrance in his ability to move and function. Um, but I don't think he's in pain. No. Oh, that makes us really happy. Mm -mm. And, and I, I don't think that there's, I wouldn't try any heroics to try and fix it at this stage in his life because I think that um, that would be painful. Yeah. And I don't think based on the degree that he has it, that it would be in his best interest. Okay. So as far as I can see, I would just keep him happy, keep him fed, let him do his normal lizard things. Don't, uh, don't throw him in a canal because he might sink. <laughs> And other than that, I, I think I think he's a lucky little guy to have found you guys. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Are there any um, supplements or anything that we can give him that may help or like... Uh, the, the problem is it's... I mean, they if he had metabolic bone disease, and that's why I asked, was he born this way? Um, if he had metabolic bone disease, we could make adjustments. In, in his case, I mean, he's... His spinal column is basically deformed, and it's already formed. Um, in the x-ray, his bones look fine as far as the density. So I don't think he has metabolic bone disease or any other um, issues like that. Well, thank you guys so much for checking out Quasi for us. You're very welcome. Definitely thank appreciate you. it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> we'll go ahead and get Quasi back home. All set up. That's really good to know, though, you know, about um, that Quasi should be able to live a relatively good life, all things considered, and, you know, we're going to try to give the best life that we can. There it is. So we're just hanging out with Quasi, feeding him some blueberries, some super worms, and uh, he had a good visit at the vet. So as the vet said, Quasi should be living a relatively healthy and happy life, all things considered. There's not really anything else we can do except try to give him the best life that we can. And those uh, issues that he has currently could extend to be further issues as well. He might have some organ issues too. So we're just gonna have to see how he does and just try to take the best care of him that we can. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like, leave a comment, let us know what you think, and we'll see you on the next episode.